What is up everyone? I go by the name is Lucid and you are tuned into yet another episode of Improve Thyself 101. So grab your books, grab your notes and grab your pens because today we talk about embarrassment. If you're not familiar with what Improve Thyself 101 is, please reverse back to the first episode of the series and you will get the scoop on what the hell I'm talking about. But for today though, let's get into this quote. It is a quote by Abel The Weeknd Tesfay, 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 how do you pronounce it? Let me know in the comments below. It says, don't be scared to embarrass yourself. Boom. <laughs> I do that on the podcast. A lot of the time, we all kind of suffer from the fear of embarrassment. We get scared to try certain things out of fear of what people will think, out of fear of people laughing at us, out of fear of people talking about us, out of fear of us looking stupid. There's plenty of examples we can go from zero to 100 real quick. I remember when I first joined the gym, a lot of the, the machines were very intimidating to me because I didn't know how to use them. And I didn't want to sit there and look like I didn't know how to use them. So like for the first, I think maybe week or two, I was just so attentive to how people use the machines. And I didn't use many of the machines because I was like, okay, let's see how this person uses it. Now I know for next. <laughs> like I was so scared to embarrass myself and I was so scared to seem like I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. That it, it, it deprived me of however long I took to start using the machines, but it deprived me of quality workout time, I guess. On the flip side of that, my friend was not scared. And I just stood there like, okay, you figure it out and I'll just watch you and and then like you, you explain it to me afterwards and then I'll get on it. <laughs> Pride gets in our way a lot of the time. We can take it a, a scale up. Other people, they want to write their first book. They want to record their first YouTube video. They want to put out their first song. They want to join a, a sports team of their choosing. They want to dare to dream about going to the Olympics. But what stops them from doing these things is fear of embarrassment, fear of, oh, but that first song I'm going to put out, it's going to it's gonna stink. Oh, but that first YouTube video, I'm gonna look so stupid in front of the, I don't know how to be in front of a camera. We get so caught up in what people are gonna think. We get so caught up in how we're gonna look while doing these things that we end up not doing them. And it's something that we need to come to terms with that we're gonna suck at things. We're gonna look stupid. We're gonna sound stupid. We're gonna sound horrible. That first note that you sing is not gonna be the note that is gonna make you famous. That first rap that you write is not gonna be the verse that gets you famous. That first YouTube video drop, you're probably gonna make mistakes and ums and ahs and oohs and a's. People are always saying no, but I'll record a few YouTube videos and then when I get to the right one, I'll release it, you know, when I'm comfortable around the camera. Like People love to see your progress, number one. And number two, if you keep waiting until the day you're not embarrassing anymore, you're never going to put something out. I started music in 2011 and I had only released a song in 2015. Mind you, I've, I've written songs, I've recorded songs prior to releasing my first song. No, it was 24, end of 2014 when I first released the song. But prior to that, I had so many other songs that I've worked on and projects that I scrapped and it's like, I was on that mindset of I'm a write and I'm a rap and when I get to a point where I'm good enough or where I get to a point where I don't look stupid or I don't sound stupid or I sound professional, then I'll release a song. And that held me back. Who knows if I had started releasing when I started releasing, who knows where I would have been by now. It took so much, so much effort for me to get to a point where I'm not scared of embarrassing myself. I'm not scared of saying some dumb shit on this video. I'm not scared of writing a song that doesn't work because I understand that there's going to be people that won't like it no matter how good you try and get your product or get your vision. And this, t this tips a bit into um, perfectionism. Something that's done and out there is better than it being perfect. Like if you're so scared to try shit, you're never going to get to a place where you understand yourself enough to know what you're good at, what you're not good at, what you can do, what you shouldn't, should stay away from, what you don't like to do. Don't be scared to make a fool out of yourself because if you love something enough, you can make as much a fool out of yourself as you want. If you're happy, you're happy. I mean, there's so many people that go to a karaoke bar. They're not necessarily good at singing, but they just enjoy themselves so much when they're doing their karaoke song. That's a place I wish all of us can get to because we worry so much about what people think that it paralyzes us. It paralyzes us from living our lives because when it's all said and done, the same people you worried about what they think 
they're not going to be there when you're looking at your regrets and you're like, yo, why didn't I, why didn't I do this? You, you look at a, a lot of older people and you can see they don't particularly care what people think. And as you get older, you realize that everyone is on the same tip of what do people think of me? That's what's filling everyone's mind. So they don't have time to think about you. So don't be scared to embarrass yourself. Don't be scared to make a fool out of yourself in an attempt to grow yourself, to learn to know yourself. It's all about getting to know who you are. In general, you shouldn't let the fear of embarrassment do anything because what people think, it doesn't fucking matter. We're all caught up in our own shit. We're all caught up in what other people think of us. So we're not thinking about what we think of other people. Don't be scared to make a fool out of yourself because you're the only one that's living your life. And if you let that fear stop you from living life, then you're going to end up with a crazy amount of regrets. What if I had got up that night and sang at that karaoke bar? Or what if I had tried learning the drums? Or what if I had tried writing a book? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? It's all about learning to not be scared to fail, learning to not be scared to embarrass yourself and not be scared to make a fool out of learning about yourself. The only way you get to greatness is by embarrassing yourself. People are going to look at you and they're going to think you're out of your mind. They're going to think you're crazy. They're going to think you're stupid. When you're chasing after greatness and when people don't understand your vision, you're going to make a fool out of yourself. But it's only the day you stop caring about whatever the people think, that's the day you stop embarrassing yourself. Because if you don't care what they think, and you only care what you think, and you don't think you're embarrassing yourself by putting out this first song, by putting out your first short film, by writing your first script, by writing your first chapter, then you won't be embarrassing yourself. If there's someone in your life that you know cares too much about what other people think, talk to them about this quote, show them this video, let them know that it's okay to embarrass yourself, that it's okay to make a fool out of yourself. It's okay to look stupid because it's only those people that end up doing great things because on paper, your visions may seem completely insane, but when it actually happens and they see, they look, they're like, oh shit, he actually did this shit. That's why I like the, the fact that The weekend said this, because you look at what he's done, just a big example is his Super Bowl performance. Don't be scared to embarrass yourself, because at the end of the day, on the other side of that fear is freedom. When you stop giving a fuck what people think, because then people's opinions and people's fears and their insecurities that they try and project onto you, they can't touch you anymore. Your assignment for this episode is to go out there and do something that you've always wanted to do, but you're scared that yeah, I'm going to embarrass myself here. And you'll see that it's not going to be that bad after all. And even if it is that bad, it's an opportunity to build that, that mindset. It doesn't matter what people think. It matters what you think. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know your thoughts. If there's been a situation where you've overcome the fear of embarrassment, let me know how you kind of dealt with that. And I'm going to see you on another episode of Improve Thyself 101. Peace out.